ding ding. In classed orders. I'm joined by Damon Weathers. Damon, welcome to the show. Your first time on Last Orders. Yeah, first time. I'm stoked. So I want to ask you, do you do you understand? You're you're from the United States of America. Do you <laughs> yeah. understand the ding ding reference last orders? No. Oh, I assume it's uh when you're wrapping up at a bar. Yeah, well, so when you know we have pubs over here. By the way, uh-huh. do you have a beer? I have a beer. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. What have you got? I got a Hop House 13. Oh, I'm doing a Negra Modelo. It's a Mexican beer. Okay, a cerveza. I said Vesa, yes. <laughs> is it is a hamburguesa con queso with it? That'd be nice. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Um, that's all I know in Spanish. <laughs> you're about you're about the same as me. Yeah, I grew I can, up in I Spanish. I can survive when I go to know. Spain, man. I can get a cheeseburger and a beer. I'm good. Um, <laughs> the essentials. So, yeah, when, when we, we have pubs over here, which is basically mm-hmm. like someone's living room. And at the end of the night, like 11 p.m., it's, it's last mm-hmm. orders, and they have a bell above the bar. Yeah. And they go ding, 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 and then they shout, drink up, or last orders, or whatever, and then you have like 15 minutes to get your beers. Uh, so there you go, that's where like that, that comes from, and because it's the end that's of the week cool. show. So that's it, it's last orders. Let's jump in. We're playing while yeah, I'm playing. We are playing, not without my poop. I, go, I can't go anywhere without my poop. <laughs> I, 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 me too, like it's, it always comes with me. So... <laughs> I know nothing about this game. I've just picked it up on Steam. It was uh, 39 pennies. Oh, jeez. So it's, uh, sounds like it's going to be well worth it. So I've got no mouse pointer. All I have is keys working, and I can go play one or two. So I'm guessing one player. I'm, I'm going to go sound volume. Ooh. I know that's not me. Yeah. On a hot summer day. <laughs> that's David Attenborough, right? <laughs> on a me. hot summer day. I'm getting that on, <laughs> on a hot full blast. On a okay. hot summer day. Yeah, you gotta go. Let's go. Full blast on a play. hot summer day, a lonely dung beetle finds himself a warm pile of manure. Quickly, he breaks a piece, rolls it into Ooh. a ball, and off he goes. Oh, okay, Success, fine. however, is not yet assured, as now comes the great <laughs> task of getting it to where it's going. So you've got oh, to push this ball so I'm basically of shit. David Attenborough is narrating my, my shit, Jimmy. So I've got to roll it, but I don't know. So I guess... Oh, oh, fuck me, it's difficult. You know, I have to say, I already love the sound design. Okay, How are so the physics? physics? It looks puzzle. wonky. Ooh. On a whim, I'm looking up uh, Not My Poop, and apparently there's a Hasbro game called Not My Poop that you can play at home with your children. That sounds wrong. That sounds awful. Uh, okay, so it's a little physics puzzle where you have to wait the ball on the on the one side, get it rolling, and then run back up the ball. It's actually incredibly difficult. Oh, is it? Yeah, the physics look weird. Is it slippery? It's, I've yeah, never it's, asked if somebody's poop it's, slippery. It's not like a dry camel shit or something. <laughs> it's a big fucking ball this of is like dung. A slippery turd. <laughs> You've got to be. Oh, you got this. Of... And you're playing mouse and keyboard. No, just just up and down arrows. Oh, okay. Just keep keyboard, but yeah. Okay, baby. Oh, oh, there so you this go. is the end of the level, so I've got a series of levels I guess I can play. Oh. I wonder where this ball of dung goes once you okay, get there. There's already surprisingly more to this than I expected. Ooh. I love the polygonal carrots. Dung beetles are very strong animals. They can carry weight which is 50 times heavier than themselves. Damn. See? Are you a Even David Attenborough. Fan? Oh, totally. He's one of uh, the, the finest Brits ever. Is he knighted? Is he Sir Attenborough? Yeah, he's a sir. Yeah, he's he's years still old. alive, right? Richard's Nothing the one that passed. 93 years old. 93, holy shit. 
I used to mix up he and his brother's name because I'm a big Jurassic Park fan. So you got Richard uh, in yeah, there. Richard, I I kept calling him David. So is that a roadblock on the other side or do you have to come yeah, back? I, I, I've accidentally run backwards. Oh shit. Literally. So have you managed to find any reviews of this? Maybe you head over to the Steam page and find some reviews. That's, that's, that's going to have to be on Steam. That's always, always good fun. Not without my poop. I'm only going to go for a couple of levels on this because it's too difficult. You know, I, I kind of feel like they could have thought of a different name for this. But... Oh, it's, it's fucking... Wow. Really Somehow I'm on the uh, Spanish Steam page and it's Muy Positiva. Uh, obviously, which is, uh, very positive. Google's listening, man. Valve are listening. Gabe's there. Overheard our conversation before. For Cerveza. Yep. For Cerveza. Wow, this shit's got, uh, yeah, very positive out of 101 reviews. I can't play. By developer it. David Mulder. Apparently, there's a co op I thought I saw, but maybe I read that wrong. Well, it gave me the option for two players, but obviously, you're not here, so. Yeah. yeah I don't know how fun I'd have uh, rolling the ball on poop down the thing. What are, what are people saying about it? Let me pull it back up. Here we go. Oh, I went to David Mulder's page. Let's see. Very, very positive. Let's see why. <laughs> One guy says it's the shit. It is the shit. It is the shit. You can Quite always rely on Steam reviews for good laugh. <laughs> I have to go back to the Steam English one. What the hell happened? Here we go. Okay, very positive. Oh, yep. This actually might be my favorite by a gentleman named Spleens. Says, I'm not sure how the little dung beetle was able to make a ball of poo this big, but I'm sure it's fun to run around on. So he hasn't actually played the game, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't sound he's, like he's, it. He's uh, speculating. Yeah, how can you review if you haven't played it? Oh, see, so one guy was going to downvote it, but once he found out he could use his controller, it became so much easier and enjoyable, according to him. Uh, okay, so should we plug in a controller? It might work. It says it immediately immediately becomes possible. Yeah, because I'm I'm. You may have noticed I'm struggling. So I'm gonna plug in my DualShock Four. <laughs> While you plug that in, listen to this. Uh, as a girl, my mother pressured me uh, for what I'd face in the world ahead. Everything from social pressure from peers, academic world, professional climb. And what would span an enormous swath of life and the intricacies of being a woman in the modern world. She failed, however, to warn me that someday I would run across a seemingly innocuous game created by a developer who clearly hates humankind. Thus, I found not without my food. <laughs> and she goes on. It's oh certainly more manageable. With the controller? With an analog stick, but I wouldn't say it's playable. <laughs> oh my it still fucking sucks. I'm I'm jumping ahead. There's some levels where you're on concrete. I wonder if that changes the physics of it. Or you're on desks. How the hell? Somebody superimposing uh, this poop ball on a, a Pikmin cover. Oh man. I think I think this would be even harder drunk. Okay, there you go. That's last orders for this You're week. Calling it's it, the shortest huh? episode we've ever done. Nine minutes, <laughs> Damon. What do you think of the game? Are you, are you jumping in? I am never trying that. Game. This is always the danger of this show. <laughs> I would rather. There's a few I've already seen on here that I'd rather try. There you go. This is definitely not one of them. Guys, thank you for joining us this week on Last Orders. We'll be back next week with another shit game. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.